convene this summit in order to recognize, applaud, and build upon the efforts of President Obama's White House Summit on Countering Violent Extremism and other similar forums that have come before. The events that make this gathering necessary are global and becoming all too commonplace. You're here because you're interested in why, and even more dedicated to engaging in education, research, and community-based activities to shape the discussion of why not. Today, you'll hear some incredible stories about work that goes on untold and unmentioned. You'll hear some amazing journeys down the path of radicalization and back, initiatives tackling extremist messaging, examining the landscape of the past quarter century of domestic terrorism, and explore innovative approaches to define the next steps toward holistic strategies intended to better inform policy and global solutions. In light of recent events, this summit could not be convened at a more critical time, unfortunately. What makes homegrown violent extremism especially challenging is the that it is a problem on a global scale, but with very local roots. No matter where one calls home, the shadow of HVE can loom, especially considering the diversity of ideologies fueling extremism. One of the key focal areas of the Price School and a hallmark of our expertise is security and public safety. Today, our USC Safe Communities Institute, of which Errol is the director, is a major contributor to our leadership position in this field. Our faculty actively engage on issues of HVE with academic institutional partners in the UK, France, Germany, and Israel. And these are very active, engaged partnerships. The common thread woven among all these efforts is the recognition that the most effective strategies start with building trust in the community. That's fundamental. Education, research, and community engagement are essential parts of the solution. So we must consider ways to provide escape for individuals who are on the path to radicalization, from counseling to family programs, and we must see local efforts as building towards a more global solution. Although Los Angeles in many ways is farther behind some of these cities in Europe, in many ways we're, we're farther ahead. We've uh, begun our development of, of our program here in Los Angeles organically from the community up, developing partnerships and creating a, a relationship-based organization that doesn't rely solely on government or on the community, but is a collaboration across all of those platforms. This is why this summit is so important today, that each, of, each one of you here today expressing an interest in this important uh, effort to protect our families, to protect our neighborhoods, to protect our communities.